Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from cubickink77.com doing a video, doing a full review of the MC3 leaked build on the Sprint Samsung Galaxy S3. Going to go ahead and review some stuff. Finally, the premium suite is here. So first of all, it will show you. Go ahead and go into settings, scroll down, go to about device. You'll see it is Android version 4.1.2. And your build number at the end should say MC3. I do have a video showing you how to install this leaked build. I will link to it in the description of the video below. Again, no, no idea if this is going to be official or not. I've heard uh, people saying it's not. I've heard people saying it is, so we're not too sure yet. Again, we will see once the future comes. However, everything works just fine, so I wouldn't worry about running into bugs. So this is definitely a leaked build that you can run and not have to worry about uh, your phone being all screwy. It should work all. It should work just fine. Alright, so anyways, right away, aesthetically, I have heard that some people say that the colors look a little bit better, and I would have to agree, it does seem like the colors do have a little bit better look to them, uh, for, for whatever reason, um, again, that's just a personal opinion, it might be a little bit different for you. Also, uh, it's also mentioned that it does feel a lot smoother and snappier, and I have to agree with that as well opening and closing applications, it does feel very smooth. I wouldn't say a lot smoother, but definitely a, just a little bit smoother. So that's a, that's a plus as well. Now, being that it's still on Jelly Bean, you're still gonna get awesome features such as Google Now. I'm not connected to any data network actually, so this isn't even gonna load up correctly. You'll see network error there. But one of the main features of this upgrade is the premium suite upgrade, and you will now have multi-window. So this uh, update does now include multi-window, you can press and hold the back arrow to activate the multi-window. I'm going to hit do not show again and hit OK. I'm going to hit do not show again and hit OK. So finally the Sprint S3 has multi-window, which is what the Note 2 has had for a while. You can move this bar around, press and hold on this little icon. You'll see this icon you can swipe in and out and it goes away. It does stay there. You can actually press and hold on it and move this bar uh, around to the right side or to the bottom wherever you would like it to be at so if I wanted it to be down at the bottom I can I can swipe down and you'll see it is still down there while it's closed you can press and hold on it and move it left and right so you'll see I can move it all the way over there again while it's open I can move it uh, over to the side of a screen as well and there you have it so uh, again up down move it to different sides of the screen so that's that's kind of neat Opening it back up, you'll see you do have a limited amount of applications that you can have open in multi-window. So, to start things off, I'm going to go ahead and open up YouTube. So, click and drag it over, and it will open things up. I'm going to go ahead and connect to a Wi-Fi network, and I'll be right back. All right, so I have YouTube loaded up. Let's say I want to watch a video real quick, and I can look for me. I you'll see I type in QB, and there's QB King 77 and then we can just go ahead and click on a quick video while YouTube's loading I can go ahead and open up this multi window again and let's say uh, for whatever reason I wanted to go ahead and open up Chrome and do a quick Google search so I open up Chrome I just bring it up to the top of the screen click and drag it and it opens it on up um, you will see there's a bar in the middle you can change the size of each screen and you also see there's a couple buttons right here there's a swap page button so you'll see you can swap them so it just does a quick flip-flop. And then while you'll also see an arrow in the middle pointing down, if I have that and I press the other button, it's going to just enlarge that application. Um, again, if I want to bring YouTube back up, I can put, put it down the bottom or the top, whatever I prefer. And you'll see, there we go. So it loads on up. Again, I can just go ahead and click on a video. Uh, you'll see how to root uh, the S3, actually. So if you do want to get a custom recovery on this build, you can just watch this video, actually, that I'm watching right now. I'm going to turn off the sound, but you'll see it's loading it up. Now what I can do is go back up to Chrome, and let's say while I'm watching that video, I wanted to go ahead and go to my website. So uh, while this video is loading, again, I turned off the sound. You would normally have sound, but you'll see while the video is going, I am also browsing the web, so uh, my wife has been extremely slow lately, I don't even know why. Alright, so here we go, loaded on up, you'll see my uh, actually brand new redesigned website just showed up. If you haven't checked it out yet, please do so. Um, I, I do appreciate anyone going and visiting my website. So you'll see, I can go ahead and look through the various articles that I've written and posted while watching this specific video. I can change uh, the screen size of each one if I want to bring one up higher than the other one put it back to the middle so there you go and I can go back and forth between the two I can scroll I can pause the video I can exit out of it so again multi windows a really great feature 
Um, so I figured I'd show that off, some of the awesome features of multi-window. Now again, I do want to make a note that uh, the apps are limited to basically the Google apps and maybe some Samsung apps as well, so keep that in mind. Now, I do want to make a note that if you are rooted, you there will eventually be a way that you can add all the applications. Hopefully I'll have time to do a video in the near future once that becomes available. You might have to be on a DX-based ROM, or you might even just have to flash a custom ROM. I'll get to that in a future video. Uh, so definitely stay tuned for that if you're looking for the all apps mod in the multi-window. So that is the main update to this uh, leaked build is that uh, multi-window mod. You also see up at the top, uh, multi-window has a, an option right there that you can press deselect and select again. Or you can just press and hold the back arrow and it brings it out and puts it away as well. So just figured I'd show you guys that. Also, you have a new application called Paper Artist that has shown up. What you can do is you can actually take a picture and then it's just going to add a cool effect to it. So you'll see when looking through, here's my hand, you'll see it adds a cool effect to it based on, you can just go through all your pictures and it'll show off cool effects. So you'll have to play around with that application. It's a little bit neat. Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty cool actually. There's also a new gallery. So if we go and go ahead and go into the gallery application, and I took a few pictures real quick, you'll see it's very similar to the Note 2's camera. Actually, go back. You have a couple options. You have this uh, this option, and then you also have this spiral option to look through your pictures. Again, uh, aesthetically pleasing, but not very uh, not very usable. I mean, it's okay, but uh, I prefer using just this box right here, and then go ahead and go into your app. Uh, your specific galleries and then go into your pictures. So figured I'd show you guys that updated gallery as well. Press and hold the home button and you will see the icon to clear all applications has been changed from a garbage can to this. I'm not exactly sure why they did that, but again, no big deal. You can still swipe away applications. You can press that button to get rid of all of them. And that's about it. So just about everything I did want to show you guys, uh, especially that multi-window mod, figured I'd show that off extensively. Hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, please subscribe to me. I'd really appreciate it. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus as well. All links will be in the description of the video below. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.